Imagine a plane and a point that's not on the plane. Imagine finding the mirror image or reflection of the point through the plane. So if the plane is a mirror, find the mirror image of the point. Let's suppose we have a particular plane with equation x minus 2y plus z equals 6 and a particular point a with coordinates 2, 4, minus 6. Uh, you can check that a doesn't sit on that plane because the numbers 2, 4, minus 6 don't satisfy the equation of the plane. We want to find the point b, which is the reflection of a through the plane. Now we're going to do this by finding the equation of the line that starts at a and moves in the normal direction. So it'll look like this. x, y, z, any point on the line, can be written as a starting point, which we'll take to be a, 2, 4, minus 6, plus a parameter t times the normal vector of the plane, which has co components 1, minus 2, 1. We read those off from the equation of the plane. So here's the equation of the line. x equals 2 plus t, y equals 4 minus 2t, z equals minus 6 plus t. Now, if you start at a point that's not on the plane and move in the normal direction to the plane, at some point that line is going to cross the plane. So we want to find the value of t such that the line crosses the plane. And we'll do it by taking these equations for x, y, and z, 2 plus t, 4 minus 2t, minus 6 plus t, and plugging them into the equation of the plane, x minus 2y plus z equals 6, and solving for t. Here's what that looks like. Plug them in, you simplify, rearrange, and you find t equals 3. So, if you start at 2, 4, minus 6, and add 3 times the normal vector, you wind up at the point with coordinates 5, minus 2, minus 3. That's the point C there on the diagram. And you can check that those coordinates, 5 minus 2 minus 3, do indeed satisfy the equation of the plane. So, if we get from A to C by starting at A and adding 3 times the normal vector, we can get to B, the mirror image, by adding 3 more times the normal vector. So here's how we'll find B. We'll start at 2, 4, minus 6 and add 6 times the normal vector. 2 times 3 is 6. So you wind up at the point with coordinates 8, minus 8, 0. That is the reflection of A through the given plane.